I am Dr. Shrujit Ghosh. Welcome to my channel, Dr. Ghosh Presents. Tissue Soil Therapy Part 18, Theram Phos 2 Mouth Symptoms of Theram Phos Gum Hot Inflamed Mucous Membrane Red Picture 1 Left Side Below Bottom Left Side Picture 1 Tongue Symptoms of Theram Phos Tongue furred, Clean or Blackish With Headache Inflamed With Dark Red Swelling Blackish Tongue Picture 2 Tooth symptoms of Phelan Phos, toothache with hot cheek, cheek hot, worse from hot things, better from cold, liquid, cold and foods, fever during teething of babies, picture number four, babies teething, during teething fever, when calcarea Phos fails, generally teething problem is met with calcarea Phos, sometimes it fails, then Phelan Phos comes, all troubles worse from hot drinks, foods, better from cold drinks, foods. No symptoms of ferrum force. First stage of all colds, predisposition to catch cold, smarting, trickling, especially in the right nasal passage on inspiration, bloody discharge or epistaxis of fresh red blood which does not coagulate easily. Epistaxis, epistaxis one means this is the image, this is epistaxis. Face symptoms of Phelan Phos, throbbing pain with sweat over head and face with flushing, heat and quickened pulse but cold sensation in the nape of the neck. This is called peculiar strange uncommon symptom. Mind it, the face is flushing hot, heat means hot but cold sensation in the nape of the neck. This is the nape of the neck. This area is cold sensation. Sometimes patient will directly report you this, sir, my face is hot but my neck, the just beneath the my hairline is very cold feeling. This is called peculiar, strange, uncommon symptom. This one symptom may give indi indication of a particular medicine. One symptom equal to one medicine, ferrum Foss. You, you may not check other symptoms, it is so important is PSU. Face earthy, pale, sallow, anemic, chlorotic, with dark circle around eyes. This is the picture of the lady with chlorotic, anemic, sallow space, face. Cheek sore, hot, congestive, inflammatory, tic doloru. This is tic doloru, actually old name. The modern name is uh, trigeminal neuralgia or prosopalgia. This is one of the most painful disease of that human faces. Most painful disease. Uh, this is fifth cranial nerve, trigeminal nerve neuralgia. Trigeminal nerve uh, enters from the uh, ear, from head. It, it is cranial nerve. It comes out from uh, just in front of the uh, ear. It has three supplies. One supply is just about this area. Another is cheek area. Another is maxillary area, lower, lower. Anyway, this is a very, very painful disease and one alternative name of this disease is also suicide disease because sometimes there are uh, events when patient committed suicide out of this pain, the tic doloru or prosopalgia or trigeminal neuralgia. This is one of the very, very painful disease. Mind it, generally it occurs in the middle aged ladies, in case of ladies, middle aged. Fixed medicine, Ferrum Phos. Third symptom of Ferrum Phos. Dry, red, inflamed. Picture number one. Actually, this is uh, oropharynx. We know there is three parts of pharynx. One is nasopharynx and is oropharynx and ultimately laryngeopharynx. This is oropharynx. Uh, and a part of the throat is called oropharynx. This is shown here in picture one. Tender ulcer, ulcerous with fever, acute tonsillitis, acute tonsillitis. This is oropharynx, this is acute tonsillitis, acute tonsillitis, tonsil red, swollen, sore. Picture number two. In case of quinsy, quinsy means when there is 
boil or abscess this uh, secreting pass from the tonsils it is quinzy it is very much um, um, toxic disease it is a toxic disease and patient appears with toxic look here is ferum pus and sometimes uh, with the and uh, along with it calcareous sulf required during initial phase this is quinzy ferum pus is sufficient initial phase of quinzy but once quinzy has burst out and um, thick pus is coming out then ferum pus alone cannot do you have to alternate with calcarea salve and in the first stage it is along with calimure later with thick pus along with calcarea salve so sore throat hoarseness loss of voice of public speaker singers and clergymen laryngitis this is the picture of laryngitis mind it this picture is not you cannot see it with your eye because this is a laryngoscopic view laryngoscope is a machine some sort of instrument with the help of that machine we can get the picture of larynx and this is the laryngoscope see how much swollen this is fully swollen that is inflamed and uh, pharyngeal uh, is one uh, clergyman laryngeal is pharyngeal is both that is both uh, disease both disease uh, may happen to this public speakers singers clergyman because they continuously use their throats number 4 is the laryngitis and number 1 that is oropharynx that is part of the actually uh, pharynx so pharyng pharyngitis means commonly this area first stage of inflammation of any part of the throat first stage of inflammation of any part first stage actually first stage inflammation of anywhere in the body you can give ferum pus this generalized this is generalized gastric symptom ferum pus inflammation of stomach gastritis first stage look at the first figure this is normal this is uh, actually view of uh, endoscope endoscopic view of stomach this is normal view this is gastritis see this change severely red that is inflammation endoscopic view endoscopic view gastritis slightest food intolerable pain starts burning soreness near the pit of stomach pit of the stomach this region is called pit of the stomach picture number 2 whole stomach area is painfully sore this is the stomach area is painfully sore picture number 3 throbbing pain in gaster gaster means actually gaster is the medical term for stomach that from that gaster the gastritis term has evolved heartburn calcarea first letter process medicine but ferum pus is also required here gastric fever calimure is also required vomiting of undigested food particle bright red blood repeated vomiting these are actually classical symptom of ferum pus bright red blood vomiting of food particles and uh, better from cold cold application this is classical symptom of ferum pus belching belching smell of food of drinks headache with vomiting picture number 4 relief from cold drinks external application of hot fermentation and ameliorates this amelioration comes temporarily due to external let me say you are giving external fermentation on uh, stomach area you will get some relief temporary relief will be there but warm drinks or hot drinks will severely aggravate that is internally it is severely aggravated external application hot fermentation ameliorates partly abdomen and stool symptom ferum pus first stage of diarrhea dysentery in case of dysentery you give alternately with calimure cholera peritonitis when there is chill and rigor soreness in intestinal region peritonitis is picture 1 see this is the uh, abdominal uh, actually um, intestine intestinal part and uh, peritoneum is a covering uh, peritoneum is a general covering uh, covering the all the parts of abdomen this is the peritoneal sac this peritoneal sac when this is inflamed it is called peritonitis 
and picture look like this in if you see from open eye just uh, say after opening the abdomen abdominal wall you can see this is the picture peritonitis this is a very severe disease very severe disease so it should be attended immediately piles picture number two with bleeding bright red blood having tendency to coagulate severe soreness and pain calculate for also applies here before in duration that is the piles after a uh, few days is in duration it means become stiff hard hardened that is in duration if it is in duration then you ferampos um, will not do ferampos will not do in that case you have to give calcare for calcare for can tackle this in duration piles also to relieve local pain application of vaseline mixed with ferampos 66 is very because mind this this external application of ferrum fox is very very um, useful in many cases say you have got some burn some injury everything is primary first hand in that burn case in the, in the injury case everywhere you can use local locally ferrum fox along with vaseline and you can give him ferrum fox 66 to take internally that is internal external both ferrum fox this then the disease will be cured quickly worms indigestion lenteria lenteria is no lenteria is actually when the stool contains undigested food particle it is called lenteria it is one of the characteristic symptom of ferrum pos um, stool even uh, vomit so naturally stool also contains undigested food particle disposition to prolapse recti prolapse recti prolapse of rectum rectum prolapse this is the picture of prolapse of the rectum first stage of all gastric and enteric fibers with chill that very term i have already uh, saying this repeatedly that first stage of any inflammation inflammation in the body any inflammation previously it was throat now it is gastric enteric fever in every case any part of the body in the first stage of inflammation ferrum fox is the medicine and almost in all um, in first stage application there is temperature and chill urinary organ symptoms of ferrum fox first stage of cystitis that same term first stage of cystitis the picture is here this is the bladder urinary bladder this portion is inflamed so that is the particular portion is been shown with the cystoscopic view the how this uh, part of the inflamed portion looks like this is uh, cystitis uh, with pain heat feverishness frequent desire to urinate urine spurts out with every cough symptoms worse the longer the pain hold patient holds hold means patient holds means patient hold the urine better after urination polyuria simplex there is simple polyuria simple polyuria means this polyuria is not doesn't related to and doesn't relate to uh, diabetes mellitus diabetes mellitus polyuria is something else this simple polyuria sometimes it happens in that case ferrum fox is the medicine any inflammatory pain in kidney bright's disease this is bright disease when the bright disease means actually when kidney from kidney uh, when kidney cannot uh, kidney you know the function of the kidney is to just filter the essential part to keep within the system and uh, unwanted part outside as an urine sometimes the important portion that is urine that is protein that is uh, albumin albumin is a part of the protein also blood etc to keep, keep within but sometimes kidney fails and proteinuria that is protein in the urine rbc cast rbc is coming out red means some part of blood is coming out with the urine in this case we call the bit kidney is suffering from bright's disease this is a very serious disease actually this name is old current name is acute nephritis or chronic nephritis uh, in case of ferrum fox there must be fever diabetes when there is quickened pulse or when there is pain tension throbbing heat or congestion in any part of the system mind it you can give in patient of diabetes too if this 
symptoms are there incontinence of urine due to irritation at the neck of the bladder and prostate diurnal urinesis diurnal urinesis there is passing of urine during day sleep enuresis mean passing of urine diurnal in day time it is nocturnal urine mean night time ischuria ischuria is incontinence that is the patient cannot expel urine though the bladder is full this is ischuria this is very painful thing with fever especially in children ferampos is the medicine you give ferampos the patient will pass profuse urine within an hour or two lab case miss kuheli age 22 she was about to go mad with sudden pain in right knee joint and hectic fever for last one week shoulder knee joint appear to be a mid sized cabbage burning and throbbing pain locomotion almost impossible had been beside herself with inexplicable suffering temporary relief from fomentation of warm cloth dr mrs chen felt her patient's pulse rate 100 per minute rhythm uneven volume almost normal she inquired how do you feel with application of cold water don't know have not yet tested it came the reply from patient quickly replied with distorted face doctor noted that the joint was hot pale tongue was fiery red she prescribed ferampos 12x twice a day for one week on second day fever disappeared patient was calm had nice sleep from fifth day onward pain and swelling started decrementing doctor sen had to repeat the same for another week to complete the case look at look here how serious a case look the knee joint swollen up to the size of cabbage patient highly toxic and feeling extremely pain but if you know your medicine you can give him complete cure with simple medicine ferum force without any without any application of uh, modern medicine like paracetamol and etc etc paracetamol you know paracetamol is a immune suppressive drug whenever you take paracetamol mind it your immune system is distorted and after a long time when you taking of too much of paracetamol you will be suffering from auto immune diseases there is so many automated auto immune diseases these are completely incurable by modern medicine and most of the incurable modern medicine disease this this is autoimmune disease are created by this type of uh, immune suppressive drugs one of this is paracetamol dr sen had to repeat the same for another week to complete the case the simple medicine complete cure it take one week but it's complete cure it doesn't it will not cure within two days or three days but take one week but this is an event full cure and there will be no damage of internal organ <laughs> as generally happened with modern medicine uh, with this this video ends here thanks for listening and viewing if any question is there please write down in the comment section i will apply i will certainly reply